Turn to pick. I don't know if you want to pick Meepo against it. Is Meepo good here? Doesn't sound so fun to play Clinks versus Meepo. That's true. Clinks doesn't have a great time. He is not the ideal target unless he steps way too far. But he's got a stout shield on top of the eight armor. Pretty beefy, but there, there are three heroes. So they'll look towards him. Let's see? And they will go for it. Do they quite have the damage? Ace does give that heal to Puppy. It's they not enough it. to save. Having they that vision. First blood. The vision from you. I did doing a very good job with the early spell usage. Bringing mid one very low. As mid one does have to be careful. Just try. He's trying to hit that level two, but this is EYD. Making it very hard for mid one to get in, get that XP now. He'll get in and grab it. Was stun. Doing a very good job there, ZYD, of making, uh, making it hard for mid one to get those last hits every time that he's coming in for one. With the Light Strike Array. It makes it harder that ZYD got the first blood, right? So he's got that little extra of the mantle. Yeah. Not the biggest thing, but it, every little thing adds up when you're playing in those 1v1 matchups. Lane Puppy and Ace. Look at the GGG. On the clinks, and they've got him. Ace him down. The slap club of Puppy. Yeah, he's still level 1. Now Crystal made it too. XGG. Getting chased down here. Yeah, Ace and Puppy. They can uh, run down these heroes relatively easy. Both, both very squishy. You saw sort of the lane decision, taking the the clinks away from that that pressure lane top. But two so, so just his mana back. Full. I mean, this this top lane should be very very nice for Seeker as it continues. Pugna just is that monster. Uiw trying to connect some pulls. Make sure you can get those levels. Get that early mana burn point up. We'll be interrupted though. Oh, I was gonna say, not that easy, but hey, turns back up to. Oh. Just get slowed and ran down. Mid lane, pretty even at the moment. 12 for 0 against the 11 for 2. Yeah, right, it's the, it's the DK. We always like, we're always like, oh yeah, he's gonna lose, but oh, yeah, sort top. Oh, they just oh. a bit, but it doesn't matter. Still get themselves the kill, Serenity. Oh, I like it as well. GQ dropping some kisses. Oh, so that top lane. They had that. Oh. We'll be okay. They had that uh, level three. As soon as Tiny is level three, you have that big window where you deal a lot more damage because you have all three of your abilities. But yeah, yep, so stepped up a bit too far. Uh, on mid one whilst he's low. Well, he's got 23. Yeah. With the regions, always going to be there. So very unlikely to see. Uh, Oh, That's sort of gonna happen in the mid lane, top lane indeed, another sort of setup there from PYW with the stun. Vada tries to turn around with the blast, but he's going to go down. Yeah. Doesn't get the kill, but still nice to see. This early stays, EYD strutting his stuff in the middle lane, and oh, it's the good Oh no, oh, mid one. ZYD! His stock's just gone up, I'm sure some viewers would love to see him play. He, he's a player! It looked like Midwood saw that he hit 6 too. Because he kind of like stepped back and then stepped up anyway. Now Yapsar also getting chased. A couple right clicks. Another kill. 6 to 3. Still early. He done perfectly fine. Boots, Aquila, Wand, level 6. Pata, level 4. GGG. Just going to touch it over Ace. Ace does have the Ghost Shroud and also the backup of Puppy. GGG. Trying to juke his way around the trees, but he's got the back of Vexy Jet. Look over the Fire Blast from Puppy onto GGG. Not quite enough control now. Ace and Puppy have to be careful. They'll back themselves away as XCJ. GGG looking to pounce back. They've got the slow on to Ace. Mango used it. Let's get the frostbite, but wasn't able to close it on Ace. And GQ top. up top. Another kill for the Tiny as they catch up. But again, bottom lane TPs have come in. There is backup as the CM getting surrounded. XCJ will fall. Secret of there, but there's the rotation as well from ZYD. Goes in straight away the Laguna through the Ghost Rat of Ace and right clicks down Puppy as well. The Tiny. And uh, ZQ has just been sitting top. They're, this is their this is their domain. While everybody else can play around the map, we can have the Lina making the quick rotations and the CM clinks. Put a lot of pressure onto this bottom lane. Definitely on the back foot here. These smoke plays now. Bada and Poppy. They may catch out. See what I do is looking to head up towards the eight minute room, but bam, the surprise, the trap is set, and they'll open up onto him with the decrepify slow to set up for the stun to come in from mid one. They will punish the Lina. So that One's unable to set up onto him for TPs to come in. Force a reaction instantly with that combo from Tiny. GGG looking for loading onto Yapsor, but there's the hold of the Reaper's side just to stop some of the right clicks coming through. Mid lane, mid one, trying to get aggressive onto the Tiny. But we have to turn and punish him. PYW and Zinku will punish mid one's aggression mid. Bottom lane, we saw that. Why not? Let's get a kill. 
So all these heroes, they're so squishy for you now. It's like Ogre and DK aren't the most squishy, but they still can get the combo. They're looking to set up top. There's the jump straight over there. Our four members here are secret, but two of them just come deleted straight away. They, they in fact, Cena and Nyx easily able to line that one up afterwards. And they're not slowing down. They want more. Tiny's positioning. Stepping up pretty far, though. But again, again, the, the setup is not enough to quite get the kills. So he's still alive for now. Turns around the ghost round. The stick charges. Pure W tries for the first to Dragon Slave. Not going to finish Ace off as Ace will stay alive. TP from Midbot coming in towards the tier 1 tower. They do want to try and fight back here. Secret they found on the sideline. CYD on the leader. Caught out the stolen stun from Yapsa. Holds him down. The Serenity. The burns just really started to add up. Now they are doing that group up though that we were mentioning. Jump in, the stun, look at the grab, there's the Reaper side. Bam, easy deletion of the hero, that's the Nyx assassin out of the fight for 45 seconds, so secret. Right, Lina's getting kind of close to hers, GGG also building BKB as well. Dream game for Team Serenity to go for that BKB, Pugna and that close. close. CG. Find him here, Ace, chase him down into the trees, CM. Right, so he went. He wants some yep. more armor, and he goes for the hood. So, that could fight a bottom. finds him. He's got the combo. Fighter isn't getting out. <laughs> the secret. He'll be ready for a fight here. I'll be on the front line, dropping the sentry. In preparation for this opens up the stuns onto PYW. Can they find a position to fight? See why he popped the BKB. Tries to land the stun on Yamsa. He missed time, so Yamsa will be fine. Mid one will not though. So the Laguna Blade comes out. One down at the moment, make a one for one of the Nyx Assassin World Four, but with the wrap round, Jinky ready to come in for more. They'll turn towards the CM, CM gets blasted. The right click will see what he flying through onto Ace, but with that veil, with the extra armor and the hood, not quite enough burst to bring him down. Ace, still alive for now, he's hiding. They've got the decrep, they turn. The self fuel's there from the leaner ZYD, keeping himself safe from the stun. He's still trying to fight on, but the damage is too much for him. CYD will fall. GGG, the Jinky though, with the cleanup, as they'll find a fourth. They'll turn towards Ace, Ace can't quite find GGG, it's GGG. Scott one charge goes with the lead. Very slight. And uh, Q still uh, leading the charge on his tiny 605. Top of the net worth and has got the money for the Shadow Blade. Bottom lane. The opening's there from PYW as he finds the DK. Jinkyu's in as well. Look for the follow up mid one. We'll try and turn with the stun to hold him back. The kill will still be successful. But Secret's also on the prop for that Indeed. engagement. They've got the Reaver. As oh, well. there's the jump. Mid one, open straight away. He's up to a CM though. They put the Reaper side down. They're pumping a lot of stuff down onto XCJ and XCJ will finally fall, but they've lost mid one for that. Secret threw a lot onto that Crystal Maiden and they lose a DK for it. Maybe even more. Secret's got to be careful here as the jump in from Jinku comes out onto Yapsor. He's held in place by the yours. He'll get bursted too. They. For the most part, so they can always get those kills. But again, look at this. They're always they're always on the prowl. Pyw always giving information, trying to set up the kills. That's the setup between the two of them. Opening up for Jinq to walk in, get that right click off with the combo. Mid one will turn with the stun. Can he get himself back to safety? No, he can't. Because the damage from GGG's there. He pops the BKB, stands his ground, and starts to pan away with the searing arrows, forcing Secret back. Secret start to retreat. Jinq with the toss there, dragging them back into the ultimate on the CM. Perfect play for the tiny, setting up for GGG on the clinks to pick up the triple kill. In the, in the damage from the CN's freezing field. They're just playing at a very quick pace and they're always responding with more heroes. Like Secret, they all TP, but it was a little bit too late to end up. Yeah, Yon just still on cooldown as he gets caught out. And now they're, they're, they're content with going into the Roshan pit. There's four dead on Secret's line of Serenity into the pit. Will pick themselves up. The Aegis, and now 24 to 13. About to wear off in PYW. Again, on the prowl. Every time. Try and open up. We'll turn his attention towards the uh, the Necrophos there with the Yule setup. There is backup for Secret. The Secret keep these boys off, and that's the question with the BKB pop from GGG. is ready, so hold his ground and push on forward. A second Yule set to use to throw Ace up in the air. There's the jump in from Moonbomb, goes for the stun onto ZYD. The free fire as well, it's not enough to kill ZYD. In fact, Secret, they've got to be careful again. Yapsil falling incredibly low. The stun comes out from PYW. That's going to be Yapsil gone. Light strike array from ZYD lands on top of Puppy. The Degrep fire from Fada trying to keep Puppy safe. All allowed to back off. ZYD's BKB beginning to wear off from the trees, going for the freezing field, but Puppy's there with a fire blast to cancel it. But the damage, oh. the right clicks just punching down mid one. The BKB doesn't matter, he'll still fall. Puppy will crumble, even with the heart. This Necrophos is not surviving as Serenity. Take four. Everyone's sitting behind Ace now. Their lanes are. The bottom lane's in an okay spot, but top lane's already pushing in. They're not even trying to deal with that. They just want to try to fight Serenity. But again, Serenity 
on ready position. Absolutely, they're on the high ground, they're ready for that movement from Secret. Bursting down, Puffy took up a stun onto the Necrophonte Crevoi. Comes out from Fado trying to keep Ace alive. Be enough to keep Ace safe for now. Yours done once again though. Have they got the stun control for him? He pops the hood, continues to back off the town with the stolen uh, Laguna's blaze there. On to the Nyx Assassin. They will find a killer return, but on the front line, Ace just getting beaten down again. Does have that ghost form to keep himself okay from the right clicks. Mid one trying to commit onto Jinku with the BKB. Prep for five from Fado looking to slow down Jinku, but it's not enough to, to slow him down for the chase. And in fact, Mid one's the one held down by the Frostbite from A. Mana, just spamming non stop, always having three fiery soul stacks. Fada, he's been found in the tree line. She, she, she's there with a hunt. He's got eyes upon him. Fada tries to turn, but there's the light strike array from ZYD. Quick Laguna Blaze. The Dragon Slave will bring him down. It just doesn't stop. He's just keeping his presence always on the map, always staying aggressive. And the same thing with the Tiny Bean. Excellent Q. Again, look for Puppy. He's found him. No escape for Puppy. Can they get the control onto Ace? So that's the question. They're trying to chase. He's got boots of travel in his game. Comes out from secret. The ward down. The Yule set up onto Yapso. Light strike to follow it up. Perfectly timed by ZYD with the double damage. A few hits. The, the Rubik's gone. And the whole game, as so we've been saying, the pick off bay of Serenity has been flawless. Shinku, UIW setting things up across the map for the entire together. They'll open up again onto the tier. There's going to be the jump forward from mid one. Does go for the stun. They've got the telekinesis as well onto the clings. Shinku's in with the top. The Avalanche onto two. Yapso Yule's down. Nullified straight back down. That's Yapso gone. The Guna Blade onto Ace, he's falling low, another Yule's being used here by Serenity to try and hold him in place. There's the Life Strike on point from CYD, but he's getting focused now by Mid-1, that'll take the Aegis out of him. But Mid-1, he, he cost a lot of his life for that one, trying to commit to the fight. He gets taken out, he'll have to buy back straight away. So, so far, Secret only able to take the Aegis out of the hands of Serenity. As Serenity, they get two kills, they get a buyback as well, and they'll also get the melee racks as they finish them off, turning towards Puppy. The Nullify up on it with a fast attack and fiery soul passive. They are going to be able to slow Puppy down, kill him off another time. They'll turn themselves towards another as Ace will fall. That's a full set of racks. Serenity are not stopping them. 41k ahead. Secret still holding on to this game, or at least trying to. But Serenity, in this game one, they've got this one. They have absolutely done it, and in an, in an incredible style as well, and not in a close style whatsoever. There were very few points of this game that it really felt the Secret could come back in. Surely we saw Ace build up this sort of very tank build. You know, he was going to be able to survive for a little bit in the fight, but the combo, the control, Jinku's tiny. That's getting a bat, I'm telling you now. Surely. The, the tiny play. They also, dude, they first it's picked so this Nyx, and yeah, the this Nyx was also remarkable. This, the yeah. combos. The last fight, I was at, I clicked on Ace, and he walked up and he used a pulse, just a casual pulse. The Nyx carapaced him. They stunned, they got like four or five stuns followed. Four, guy, four games or five Come games? Come on, put Tiny mid, put Necker off, pick Anti Mage, bam. Does it favor the team with two stuns, right? Surely there's, there's I the think so. Where you just got the wham bam, and if someone tries to it's go on you, as long as you've got a stun available. I think when the like, level three comes out, Secret yeah. has a huge, huge favor in this lane. All right, here we go here. Try to magic missile, Death. avalanche right click. Yeah. Even there you have it. Three. Stuns are always going to be the sort of the OP play at the early stages. The ace getting that first blood for. All about just messing with the experience advantage. Ace. Well, that's not a bit here. Gets she 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 tossed away. Just not a kill that's uh, going to be happening really for Serenity at the moment. This is combos we've seen. Uh, this is the lane now. This is where the lane is located now. Where the creeps have been pulled. Forward. He does have the mango. Uh, they're just going to turn. Burst him down and they got him. He's got it. They've got to be careful down in Serenity. The, the kill potential is just that much better for Secret with those stuns. 1000 HP, zero stat items. That's strength gain. Q caught out by a Fisher. He has not got any health in the tank. Leaves the last hit for Fada, so he gets all that mana back. And, and then... right. they oh, just, it. yeah, it's just Excellent Q is just jungling now. UIW is just gonna have to take the lane a bit here. Gonna get chased out. Man, they're gonna go. They're popping the out here. The trap is gonna slow XCG. There's another trap to slow ZYD. Mid one should be just fine. Yeah, and now with the turnaround, the Bane's the one in trouble. Puppy's there with the magic missile. Actually, Serenity did have XCG did have a full stick. Find some time, but not quite enough. As he'll go down, 
TYD, can he actually get anything in return of this? There's the second trap being used to slow him. They're kiting him, they're closing in upon him as ZYD pops the fire fire, but a fissure comes out and ZYD will fall secret. So there's two more. As I say that, I think he just bought the pieces for he it. Just he did. For he <laughs> just bought the Wraith Band as well as this. I was like, I was like, wow, he's skipping a kill. I usually don't see that on the, the tinies anymore. Try to just body block him with this invis. It's so working. He's got the nightmare. Magic missile out onto the Ursa. Nightmare will be taken off, but that's going to mean that now oh. Puppy's in an awkward position. But there's the Reaper Sight does come down onto uh, an already raged Ursa. They get the kill though, and it does save Puppy. Stops the Ursa from getting the kill on Puppy. Mid lane ZYD getting overpowered very aggressively here. But now with the TP in, Jinkyu's ready with the reaction play. Midborn, can he get his way out of this one? He can't. So heads up play there from the storm as Jinkyu turns it. Abilities. Bottom ace Ooh. goes with the avalanche, but straight away XCG J and GGG ready to collapse upon him and surround him. Ace tries to toss away the big old bear, but ZYD's in with the rotation too. As ace gets siphoned down. Mid lane mid one trying to use this opportunity to get some damage onto the tier one tower mid. There they go, they actually open up straight away onto PYW has been trapped slow. The spike carapace for now. He has got the stun back of a second, but the man is not quite there as mid one moves forward and takes the kill. He's just Pretty much using no mana every time he's using these refractions to push the tower. Bottom, the setup's coming. They're the trying to look for the second use of the ghost, but ZYD just gets swapped in straight away underneath the tower. The magic missile, the slam thrown down. But the nightmare will keep him alive there, dodging the Reaper sight. Is it enough to keep that man safe though? As he's diving in deep, four heroes will finally finish him off. Uh, it was still beautiful, but he does end up dying. Will they be able to get XCG? It does look like they will as well. To stop the push. That is the second use of the ghost that gets. Be careful attacked. of your positioning versus Avenge. Oh, KYW. Has he got the damage for this solo? Oh, oh. Oh, didn't get the hit out of Vendetta. Ancients, not enough to give him the help, and now he he's, is he's dead. dead. <laughs> Alright, not, not quite able to get that kill there. But hence, CYD is standing under a trap right now in the mid lane. There it is. They've got the Fisher, they've got the Blink, they've got the combo. And he's gone. And he's gone. And the swap forward. Uh, so the second one gone. Secret with the quick picks. And the tower. And the fantastic careful how they show, unless they want to go in with a full team fight. They are. They've got Exorcism back up. Look the opening, but the Fisher's already out. And there's the combo again. Ace is dead. Bam. ZYD on the DP is dead and gone. Mid one trying to move forward. Does get stunned up, but Ace is there with the body blocks on. Look at PYW. G -G. He's stuck. Oh no. He can't go anywhere. He has got the ult to buy himself some time, but Secret will just chase him down as they've picked up PYW on the Nyx Assassin. They'll get GGG as well as with the Reaper side down upon him. He's gone for 45. Still waiting for that storm to, to come online. Sort of the eyes of serenity as ace just continues to find these pickoffs exorcisms up but as we've seen every time that it has been it's not been a good fight for serenity going for the back Let's see if they can get the wraparound opening jump forward ace again with the combo there's the nightmare but it's too early the reaper side still comes down and again exorcism into death they lose to serenity and secret are up onto the high ground there'll be a buyback for ggg on his ursa Gonna have to try and hold without the death profit without the exorcism. Not that that would have done anything as we've seen this game. So oh, baits out the echo slam. It's a sweet little dodge from GQ. He's gonna go back in. But at this point, the storm finally turning up. It just doesn't offer anything at all to slow down secret. A secret. Hold the ground. Keep pushing in. They'll get the toss back. Triple kill for fun. And they may even get more as well as PYW. Getting slowed up. Magic missile. Another kill for secret. The Serenity just losing hero after hero on this base well, defense attempt at a base defense at least. Again, he zips in, he zips out, he, he gets tossed back uh -oh. in, and he is dead. Yeah. I we said as I said, you know, we don't see safe lane storm spread a lot. Why doesn't it work out? This, this is, and they're GG out. They're done. It's I mean the game they're is absolutely done. over. I, I, we were saying it, right? We looked and went, it's, Secret's got it. It looks like a much more the clean draft was much better. I thought Serenity looked very good. Like, it agreed, right? When they have to move that lane like that and then Death Prophet suffers, they have to have, like, one of these heroes has to...